just finished watching a YouTube video that, um, that when you lose your children, it the woman said that it just takes the place of the loss of the love of your children. So when I went on the website, I saw like most of the babies in which they have created, the children are asleep. Uh, so I am looking on the page to see what will actually fit me. Uh, to make it just take the pain away. I'm also working on my JP page. Uh, get so the inmate that um, I found that people, you know, but I haven't found the um, software people, you know, so like, uh, but what I found was a good Christmas gift for me to take away the grief, you know. It don't really, I mean, like, just to take away the grief that I feel from Donna Coleman at Oliver Hill Court Building. Because he don't know the pain that I am in when the state of Maryland say, come and get your kids from the court building. So then you go into the city of Richmond Court Building and they do the total opposite of what the state of Maryland said. And so uh, I think that that just could be the thing that uh, could help me with my grief. And so from the looking at the YouTube video, I shouldn't take the children and put them in my car because a police officer may crack the window open thinking that it's a real child. So, you know, it's the lessons in which you have to learn before you uh, make a purchase like that. So I would know like, I could keep them just in the house and they will be okay. And this is not why I'm purchasing clothes for her now. Baby clothes for her now, you know. Because that's not the reason. I just, I want to just make that perfectly clear before I make this purchase, you know, that the purchase is not, I mean, I, I will be purchasing the clothes and there will be the dolls, you know, but that's just to take the place of my daughter and my son with my situation, but I'm working on ways in order to push forward, uh, past the grief, you know what I'm saying? Like, just put the grief in the dirt and uh, walk away. But I'm also working on what would be, like, uh, software and hardware, you know. Uh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What would be software and hardware from uh, the three phones in which... what I am gathering as the creator. Uh, sometimes when you're a creator, you have to find a place that is a private place, you know, where nobody's going to bother you because you are a creator. Meaning we go through cycles of, you know, we need somewhere where we can, in our cycles, we have to get all of these words out. Uh, and, uh, there has to be like a private place in which we can do that. Okay. So then, um, in our private place, regardless if we're married or not, you cannot do, you cannot take the page. And I want to show all of America with the page and it's a private page because then it's these cycles of hurt and pain that we go through on the page. And I just chose JPay to be a better page for me because of what kind of place it is. Okay. So I am coming out of uh, the grief of what he did. And I want to show this person. And I got to show that person. And I got to show every person 
and for the purpose of what? Because you're not helping your wife in any shape or form. Whereas your wife feel like being on JPay, the people are actually helping me. So whereas to I was going through all these cycles of pain. Uh and just cycle and cycle and cycles of pain of pain. I have people that are genuinely um helping me uh, get through the grief and the pain. Okay. So now I'm like, uh I have to stay focused. Okay. And what I was on why I started to be on the page at first. It was basically like a two-year-old having a tinker tantrum in front of their parent. That's how I was on the page. Okay. So now, uh, I am trying to just be at a, I'm not stuck in heaven anymore. I do have my moments though. When I can tell you, like, this is what's going to happen. And, and, and. And you will see it happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I am um, trying to stay focused. And with the help of Google and JPEG, I'm, I'm trying to stay focused on what I'm doing. But when you're a creator, you have all these different thoughts. And you, you have to find a place where you can get your thoughts out. Right? Uh, so... Uh, I have found Lee. Like, okay, we're going to stop playing JPay. Now we're about to go into with the first phone and with the second phone. And I haven't came up with something for the third phone yet. But it's just a, uh, the cycle of the creators. Okay. So then when you're a creator, you don't need people in your life that is, uh, going to make you feel even worse of a person than you already feel already and uh, you have to be among the law of the cell phones right uh, and in and, and order for a person to actually understand how I feel and then I feel like it shouldn't be somebody that I'm going to know and it shouldn't be a person that he is going to know. It would just need to be a person that don't know need one of us. And looking at both our situations. So that they could determine. Oh, I can understand how she feels. You know. So my JPay page shouldn't be on other people's phones. This means that you do not know what the privacy of your wife is. You have not... You have to make everything so public. And your wife is not a public type of a person. My information should not be throughout the city of fucking Richmond. When I put the app on his phone, he showed me that he knows nothing about what is the privacy. What does privacy mean? So then... Basically, what it looks like is your wife set you up. But I didn't set you up if you knew what the word privacy is. You set yourself up. And then how you're grieving is you're using her kids to grieve. Uh Uh-uh. No. So just, I am trying to figure out a way to grieve differently. So I found that when I looked at this one person page, that having a, uh, from what the lady is saying, when you lose someone and you you have your baby, your, your reborn baby, it helps you with your grief. So I'm going to go with this route this month. And we're going to work on the word grief. But I also have my JPEG page. Because I am a creator. So then 
It's what God is saying to me, and I'm just writing it up. And yeah, there are people reading, but what is the people going to say to me, back to me? Or how would the people encourage me with the words in which God is saying to me? And when they respond back to me, what will I intake? And how will I reply back to them? Okay? Because that's how you that's how you work on your grief. Okay, so it could be fifty people, seventy five people on the page, and I could just be talking to each and every person. Okay, that means I am making a friend, far away friend, but to the far away friend, how do I know how their parents raised them and how, what could they change in my life while I'm not grieving? Okay.